Hi guys, uh, Zero just told me today that uh, double-edged is a buff for Stukov's Liberator, so let's uh, test that thing. So, oh, what did I just... Uh, oh, yes. Uh, what? Oh. Oh, sorry. Uh, it was a serious. I thought I actually got two overlords. Um, yeah, standard opening. So, uh, and fly frightful flesh feather, of course. And uh, I don't want this overlord forward because it will just get attacked by the adepts, and I don't wanna. I don't need to delay anything. Like just normal build because over. Infestation at all charge. Infestation will take care of the the adepts. The first wave. Let it test this on stream. By the way, speaking of stream, you can actually uh, hit uh, the follow button. You have the in the description the link for to my stream and also to Discord, so you can hit the follow button and my stream. I stream like two or two to three. Uh, times a week sometimes even four times so you might wanna follow my stream if you wish and here we gonna do this uh, by the way I uh, this time I have Alexander my of course have mech attack speed this time I have a structure infestation cooldown but also Alexander cooldown this time it's better when you have a double edged <coughs> Okay, so there come the adepts. Oh, they kinda. I would wish that they would spread a little bit more, but okay, I think three of them will die. So I can wait, maybe even all of them. Not quite, I think three should die. Oh, 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 all of them. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. That's, that was okay, two overlords, never mind. Never mind, let's get our uh, star, I didn't want to start before so they don't get killed. Our SCVs get killed, so first deal with the first wave and now uh, get this, okay. Uh, mosquito. So good that I've become immune to them, but they are still annoying. The mosquitoes, I mean. Oh, no, 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 dudes, where's the main rock? Where's the main rock, the main rocks? Oh, now that won't go down. Actually, it might... Okay, I see we will actually finish it kind of soonish, but I do need uh, also the gases, so I can take this. Okay. Get this, okay, I have the uh, Apocalypse for this, and I get double armor and also kill this thing for the Broodling damage. Got more workers, need more minerals, that's fine. I don't complete. Might as well start the second starport now, so I don't have to worry about that type of mic macro later. Uh. Okay. Kill the phoenix. Where's the other phoenix? It should be two. Did it die? Let's see if Apocalypse can do this without killing, ah, uh, uh, rockets actually killed it, okay. I uh, might wanna, you know, clear these guys so they don't kill my liberators on, uh, that are on the rally. These upgrades. Uh, I also have the full charges, so why not use them? Ah, uh, uh, then I need to use it here too. Uh, 
Let's keep using that shit till I kill all these air attacking units. Now this thing can kind of stay there or something. Okay, now let's get the second upgrade and we might start some of our libs. Oh, more overloads. Okay, let's solve that problem. Let's solve that problem. Get these guys to mine gas. Get this. And now. I have uh, Alejandro. I will use this too. So holding these guys actually do does uh, the uh, damage back. But okay, I need to kill all the phoenixes and then it's fine. And kill as many of these guys. If anything of attack I survived, which didn't, that's good. Then it would be killed by overcharge. Now this guy will start complaining, but I don't care. Oh. Okay. I will wait for them to complete. And then I'm gonna go in attack. I'll make one overseer, although I probably won't need them. But let's make one. How long do they take? 43 seconds. Okay, quite a time, but I have time. Okay, now we're gonna kill this thing and Overseer can go get sieged up like here or something. So I can see now that they do clear this very, very fast. Shut up. Okay, now I'm just gonna go in here so you see that they receive damage but look at this this cannon is attacking all and now they not only they uh, uh, reduce damage by 85 percent but they also heal like 10 hp per second so uh, okay i can use apocalypse for the ground ones so when they are in the attack mode they actually are pretty much uh, invulnerable, almost, like, <laughs> because they heal a lot faster than they actually receive uh, damage. Okay, look at this, they are not dropping uh, nothing, they are dropping nothing. Okay, I might use this to uh, actually kill some stuff over here, just not to waste the thingy. Okay, now you'll see you'll see it better and then that there is not uh, many things that could shoot air. But wait for these guys. Oh, uh, let's get this, uh, get this, and more liberator. Oh, more uh, supply blocked again. Okay, now let's join the forces. Have more than a minute before the next attack wave. So. I will now there is a uh, 18 and let's do the bonus and now look at this I'm getting these rockets but they are okay now when it charged through them look at how they region okay now I will move away and boom they are at full health <laughs> so that's a really really great buff uh, about 10 10 hp per second okay now we're gonna we'll make more of these guys i have the money we're gonna use this and the alexander just to kill the just to kill the ground stuff because the air stuff is uh, uh, 
That is a DT there, I don't care. Because DT is not part of the attack wave, they will, it will never come to my base. Hold position here to kill these guys. I don't need to, but I will. Okay. Now I have, to have 28 of them. Which is pretty good. Let's get them for more overlords so I don't ever have the supply problem again. And there is a worker, it can go to work. Okay, before we have 17 minute wave. Now we're gonna go in. Okay, we're gonna keep these guys a little bit busy. But look at this, they are like receiving almost no. Okay, now when they are not in attack mode, they receive more damage, like normal, but now 85% of damage reduction plus 10 HP healing per second. That's a, yeah, it's a good thing to actually. Uh, when you go between the shards. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, go through air units because the, you then keep them in attack mode. See that they. When they are not in attack mode. Okay, now this one died actually. Oh, those are uh, on the rally. Okay, I'll, I'll need to defend now. Okay, kill these, Phoenix. Get a few more. Oh, um. Okay, I'll save some money. Save some money for the upgrade for the 3-3. Now we deal with this attack. We have Apocalypse for ground stuff. But first we're gonna kill air so they don't kill Apocalypse before I... Okay, now look at this. Okay, one did die. Because Tempest focused it down. Now we can use Apocalypse over here. And with these guys, we can go for bonus. More oh, no, no, I forgot that I need to save for a... Ah, well. Fuck it. Fuck it. We'll do it later. Okay, let's keep him busy. Well, I deal with these dude. Okay, let's get the attack. Okay, I might heal them. Might heal them by attacking these guys. Okay, now let's get out. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, let's get the... This I don't need to. Like, that's 44 liberators. So I don't need to wait for anything, because the attack wave is like uh, 2 minutes and, uh, no, 1 minute and 30 seconds away, and that's, uh, I don't need to. Okay. Look at this. <laughs> okay, just uh, go through there, then queue through this carrier. So they stay in the attack mode. And then through this and to that. Ah, make sure you get the void ray. And I did it once, but uh, without double edged. And with double edged is way easier. Because <laughs> it buffs them. Look at this. They are so good. Okay. So, I don't know why. Zero told me that and I wouldn't probably have found it out myself, uh, except probably accidentally, because they don't have a life leech. So I don't know why they are doing this. Maybe it's kind of damage reduction, it kind of turns in negative uh, damage, so it's kind of healing. I don't know exactly me mechanics but, uh, behind this, but it is pretty good. You can use this in mutations. We won't be having double-edged for like 40 weeks or so, because... Uh, and we have rerolls and double edge was introduced kind of late but uh, if you if you play like brutal plus six or something brutal pluses you get this mutator you know that if, if you are a stukov you can go for liberators especially on the maps like this when you can do the main objective with just liberators on some kind of m you will have to be careful because they have uh, suppression crystals no, no, no the dead grip crystals and they they can grab them 
and if they grab them like that's insta death no matter uh, what they have the damage reduction because it's not damage it's just uh, 10 seconds uh, countdown and then they everything dies that's grabbed so on that map you have to be careful can't do it like this but uh, on other maps like uh, and if you have a, a, an enemy attack wave like this like sky to tempest sky terran or something you can easily do this and uh, it's a really really a good buff <laughs> which i just found out today okay so most damage by of course liberators and that's it i might check out the kill i kind of the kill count might be even like top bars because uh, i was just focusing mission objective in the final two bases let's uh, see um okay so i lost four liberators which is pretty good and they have more skills okay <laughs> yeah enemy was air i deliberately choose kytos tempest to see that that's uh, like hard hitting air composition but uh, i didn't lose much i think i actually lost uh, like two of these or maybe even three of these four uh, just on the rally there but uh, the one i think died to tempests and uh, well it's a kind of good thing um, and broodlings are not much affected by the double-edged so yeah okay pretty pretty good thing to know and now you know it too so uh thanks for watching like and subscribe if you like it support me on patreon if you wish and see you guys